Today, we're gonna be testing the payload capacity of a 2017 and up aluminum F350. F250s and 450s have the same weight capacity for payload. So, um, yeah, I think we hit this with a hammer several times and it didn't even dent yet. So the bed is still good, it's still structural. We didn't, we didn't cut anything. The payload capacity of this truck right now is 7,250 pounds, about the weight of two cars. The suspension here is, is one coil over on the hydraulics and that's it. So I think on a leaf spring suspension, it handled a lot more because you got bump stops and stuff. There's a lot of leverage here, guys. This I, I really hope this doesn't all snap because we're about to put 12,500 pounds of concrete in the bed here. That's the weight of like two skid steers, two small skid steers, or four cars, or a tractor, or one morbidly obese, extremely fat horse. A lot of people are wondering, you know, if it's aluminum, they claim the aluminum is a lot weaker, what can it handle? So, dude, but we got a little something here to block off all the, the hydraulics for the lift and everything because that'll get really messed up. So we're gonna let some concrete in under there. I did construction and concrete for 15 years before this. You know what they say, everybody waits on concrete. Concrete waits on nobody. So, uh, all right. Release the Kraken. She's squatting. Yeah, she dude. is squatting. The, the tires are like embedded in the concrete yeah. and the gravel. <laughs> Look the at the tires that. flat. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dude, everything's like compressed. Yeah, today. yeah. I, it wouldn't surprise me if this thing's. <laughs> we might be able to do wheelies. We could. The lift's not even all the way up either. Um. Yeah, we're going to see if the lift can lift this. Yeah. Compressed. The box is really wanting to come forward a lot. Yeah, you can see the lines are a little. That's <laughs> like half an inch. I think it slid back a little bit too. You can. <laughs> pounds at least right in the bed there so was that the box oh the box just the whole box just slid forward <laughs> dude you hear this what's leaking look at that oh beat. it's on the batteries. Something smells weird. The bed sides are out. They are pushed out a little bit. Yeah, both sides are pushed out. Oh no. Nothing. I can see it. It's coming out on the side. I think a lot of people from the last video, I didn't explain it enough why I was just touring the truck. I think a lot of people got the opinion that I'm a spoiled rich brat. I was building pole barns and houses, remodels and drywall jobs, plumbing, insulating crawl spaces, insulating attics in 200 degree heat, framing up houses in the middle of winter. Um, and no one sees that, no one knows because I'm not doing that now because I got out of it. I found a way to not do it anymore. So. Farmer's gonna want to know what's going on. Hey, you gonna pull in? Farmers love this, guys. Like, our neighbors see the trucks and they're like, What tarnation are we doing today? <laughs> I'll tell them to grab a shovel and help. Yeah. Oh, huh? Is that just kind of a hot roll? Did you pick that up? No. I did. 
I couldn't believe that. <laughs> well, it's, they're at an angle for quick operation, so it's enough uh, leverage okay. for it. Enough leverage to do that. But yeah, I think we bent the axle too a little bit. Oh, bent the axle, haven't that? <laughs> we got. Expensive. How much weight you got in there? How many yards of concrete? Twelve thousand pounds. Oh, Twelve thousand pounds. <laughs> three yards. Oh, we got three yards. The rest of it's here, but yeah, we had three yards in there. Yeah. Need any concrete? I need any concrete. No, we're not ready okay. for concrete then. Yeah, we're just gonna dump it. You're just gonna, yeah. We're gonna dump it by some foundations or something. Are you gonna leave that on the sides or you wash the truck? Yeah, we'll wash it. Yeah, I'll wash it. We're I, thinking of letting it set up in there, but we probably shouldn't do that. No, I don't know if you have a truck, it probably that. would never come off. No. We could pull the aluminum off and still have a bed full of concrete. Yeah. <laughs> Thing yeah. pick that up. No, it didn't. It, it didn't pick it up. That's the most. Uh, that's the best hydraulic system I ever seen in a pickup. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll see you guys. All right. We'll see, see you. Ya. The key. Uh, you know, a lot of people wonder uh, to be in like, like a good craftsman. I was an architect. I used to be, but then I graduated. You, you got to take pride in what you do. And I think a lot of people don't take pride. <laughs> Try to pull up. Ooh. Uh, oh, you. Uh, uh, oh. Ooh, uh. Dude, this axle's pulled forward like five inches. That's. That is not supposed to be like that. This side's a little better, but. It's like pushed in. We bent the axle. Where's the coilovers? Like. The coilovers are gone. Oh, oh they're all up against the coilovers. <laughs> Oh, it's sweating. It's it's, bad it's just sweating. The bad went like this. That does not look good. <laughs> There's like barely any weight on the front. Oh, my brakes are to the floor. Break it. Now the front edge is sliding. Is the rear brakes even working? I'll do a boost on. Alright. Side, the tire was completely outside the bed. concrete right now for a little fun dude if we get stuck do you have any idea how hard it's gonna be to get everything out of here no one believed me everyone's <laughs> like he ain't gonna destroy that truck he ain't gonna destroy it, it means too much to him it means too much there ain't nothing too important to destroy that's materialistic you all y'all are so materialistic unless you understand it all the people that dislike this video materialistic Unless you dislike it for a different reason, but most people are just mad. Wait, I gotta take it easy on the road here. We're gonna have a big cleanup mess. <laughs> We're gonna make an unintentional speed bump. <laughs> All the cars it like blends in with the pavement. <laughs> They're all like launching. too sharp and the whole fender I heard BANG up under there. Good chance we're gonna get stuck going down here. Oh, no. oh my god. Oh. That's so heavy. This is like half a concrete truck driving in mud. My brakes are barely stopping me. Really? If we did a tug of war right now we would we, we would need to whoop we butt. need to get the tractor out here and tug of war. Not supposed that to look is... like that. We oh look we shook it down it's so it's flat. So flat it was 
get the, I get the idea. A lot of people think I'm stupid because of what I do. Uh, but did you know that the term for water coming up when vibration happens is liquefaction? Is that a pregnancy? That's a leaf. Prangus indica is the scientific name of Frank Manus. Um, <laughs> cool. It's trying. Yeah, it's it's not gonna come. <laughs> Why oh, it's you... like on those semis. The hood yeah, the... open. <laughs> it's a... Pop the hood. It's, or... a, it's a Peterbilt. It's a Peterbilt. Someone, someone in the other video was like, couldn't imagine how the other the builder of the truck feels after this happened to it the builder of the truck sponsored the video guys like <laughs> he knew it was we're not happen. stupid <laughs> zero degree pressure washing tip Sorry. try this one on for size big boy try this one on for size big boy not meant to get wet none of this yeah this is there's an electric fan right there this isn't even meant to ever get wet but oh god this Oh man, there's a bunch of gravel in there now. That'll work. Oh man. I really don't blame the any level system for not being able to lift up 15,000 pounds in the bed. Not really the any level's fault. It's built for speed going up and down, not. I mean, it could lift any trailer really. You're not gonna have 15,000 pounds on top of the tongue, like if you got a gooseneck with that little rack on it. Oh, I know it's gonna go up. I'm confident. Never had a problem with this lift, so. Like nothing even happened. It's more healthy. We helped it. We helped it. That's it. it just it just that's water. all it needed. It's <laughs> So how's the truck handle on the road after 15,000 pounds in the bed? Um, unbelievably well. Unbelievably well. It straightened up a lot after we let the, we took the weight out. The alignment right here, all the weight was just on this one arm. So basically you can see here the coilovers tilted this way. Same on the other side. It just spread them out. Um, so, so these brackets are bent. It just pulled those in. They're just not made for that much of a load. Join us next time for another very interesting video we have to test out the military grade aluminum on these F-350s that everyone says is so weak and fragile. Uh, so we're gonna show you all just about how durable this aluminum is. Thanks for watching, have a great night. I went to close it again.